so uh, good morning guys it's a 7:27 a.m. today is December 16th so I'm recording the video for December 15th Thursday okay after FOMC day so FOMC did not achieve anything in terms of directional move for or bias for the day trading right so there is no direction based on FOMC however Today's global low is very important for buyers to hold above, which was 39.97. Okay, and they have to hold above our preferred buyers area and color line and Q color line. Okay, yellow, pink, blue. Break below, more sellers will come. Right. So while I'm here, these are the color lines. NQs. Right. Uh, these are the color lines. So break below, more sellers will come. And prefer buyers area below more sellers will come right that is given statement here same thing ES's prefer buyers was 66 64 break below more sellers will come here more sellers will come okay so at least this is like morning price activity right so this one correct and this one then you have a breakdown right so basically essentially follow the same pattern as overnight right so the shorts were here 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 okay based on this statement now if it holds it that means if this area you know prefer buyers area holds it and then go higher sellers will still defend up to globex high so up to globex high you can still short but then you have to be very careful in choosing your location right and then buyers will take over above globex high assuming it will hold prefer buyers area but in this case yesterday they did not hold it right so now you only seek with shorts now there is also two choices I gave you so rely on overnight down move and continue to defend seller if price goes higher up up to globex high you can short rely on past buyers from preferred buyers area so assuming preferred buyers area are holding you know or you can go long there preferred buyers area at the first test right or globex low and look for rth signal to get long against overnight seller assuming price is holding it above right so either you go long here or wait for a price to give you signal then go long right so in either case you know if you are reading it properly based on this statement you can see shorts no longs there you no know? but you have to read it now uh, and then best approach is to wait till open see to see what price does and then situation of the internals and then pick up your choice right so I'm giving you choice and I'm giving you the ideas right so when I say look opening price action what does right so this was a thick yellow line and I said in this code that this 3980 is important and NQ 696 which is this area this blue line right now so I'll show you my discord also you know as a proof you know if you want us if you want to see it that how I read it before open during open after open throughout the day right so here at 8 38 a.m. right so here I said driving I was dropping my kid to school but you know so I asked my son you know to just put the phone in front of me so and then write it down for me you know so but anyway so very nice breakdown stick with so this was this breakdown I'm talking about 836 this one and then I said stick with sellers now in RTH see that so here I give you a choice to decide right what to do but uh, here you know uh, hold on so but then in the pre in 838 right so I wrote the note at 6 a.m. But 8.38, I changed my statement, this statement, right? Instead of choice, I said stick with pullback short in RTH, right? Around 82.97, 4002, 4012, right? And then all these things, you can read all these things, right? And then here is the bummer statement, like that. In case of a good drop, then backup buyers area are the final target for sellers. And up move the key levels right so now you can see it's backup buyers area final target see price stop there low of the day 
backup bias area ahead of it same thing as here low of the day and today overnight on Friday overnight basically it take these areas you know and went below it okay so you can see how it is lining up whatever I'm writing whatever I'm writing thinking scenarios right and you can see how it is achieving right see either around 82 97 right so now that was my first statement before open right and you can see it here price went up to 85 84 of the open see that stick with shorts around those levels so I took the short while I was outside dropping my son here during this time right actually I went for a walk I said I want to go for a walk five minutes so I put a stream trade here at 82 while I was walking when I came down you know I took the short right at after five minute nine uh, 3973 in ES and NQ little bit below 696 you know, at the same time and then I was planning to hold the position till backup by its area because internals were liquidation kind okay so when internals are liquidation kind you know and price is moving in this fashion you know most likely trend day trend down day may happen all you have to see is intraday confirmation so the rejection from this key area right so now I'm again going to bring this code right so so you will see how how I'm reading it like in the in a storyline you know 9:22 a.m. right before open again another statement these are the levels so because there are so many levels right and zones so I said these are the key levels 39.82 of the open is the key see again I am repeating here now I am giving you a specific level instead of 82 to 97 I am giving you a level 82 and 696 are important at 9.22 right so now I was on a walk but you can see this 696 of the open and this thick yellow line color line both got rejection right of the open touch it down first two minute one minute candles gives you enough information you know that yes somebody reject got a rejection there somebody defended it right and then all you have to do is what follow the same pattern break down pull back short break down pull back short break down pull back short entire damn day because now after doing this one or two times it is with internal liquidation kind ad below zero uh, sorry momentum below zero line it is all telling you it's a trend down day that means any pullback you can short you know so and it is look right from the level right now uh, okay so then so these are the shorts right and then 66 was a preferred buyers area right as long as it holds above it bounce from it right first has all this thing longs I talked about it earlier in the pre-market notes but now looking at this you should not be going long here you know but instead if it breaks down you can short boom you know like this you know so here and you also you can short okay I didn't uh, there is no arrow here but yes this was a short here and there was a short here I forgot to put the arrow uh, so I'm not drawing an arrows after seeing the price to show you in the end of the video see these are the actual trades that I took it you know so and also I suggested the same and that is not random it is all reading the price going through the flow you know as price is giving us more information you trade it you know so now so and then 1036 right so I'm, I just copied paste all the discourse statement here so you know you know on certain days when the day is good uh, I put more comments in this call you know every day I don't do these things you know so and every day I don't even st uh, stay in this call till 11 11 30 I only trade uh, till 10 o'clock but when the day is nice following nice you know I put all this information as long as ES is holding it below 60 or 50 sellers will defend NQ 553 575 590 sellers will defend right that was 1036 which was right around this area and the high was 575 565 all this thing right here 1036 high was 50 see that and statement says 60 or 50 that means 
don't get scared that price is going to go higher instead you look for short either right at 50 or down again pull back short at the level 42 or 50 right same thing here right then another statement 1107 right so i am going to put the fireplace stuff so i went outside basically i will see you tomorrow right i'm going to keep my stop at 51 so at this point i knew this was a trend down day so i took a, a some profit somewhere here i don't know where you know but i said you know rest i will hold it with 51 as a stop which was 1107 so right here i said 51 as a stop and then i will target the lower areas right which is this and yes nq 595 stop which is way higher and i will target 390 in nq which is price is at 400 you know so 390 was my target and 3903 and price that came to 39.08 right those were the targets right doesn't mean i have to hold it but at that time i was holding it right and then i said 11.08 that breakdown happened which is this right so now i said 34.36 should hold at pullback next target is 14 right so 34.36 at 11.08 which is so this was here it's better right 1108 you can see all this thing how it is okay so here i put a statement right that breakdown happen 3436 should hold and next target is 3914 which is this correct now look after 1108 statement right price pull back to 3436 right here right and then target was 14 close to it right so 14 i would say right? you don't have to wait for exact target but that is the whole point here right so market doesn't move the way you want it exactly to the tick right someday it does but then you know it came to 14 basically to me you know so because you are holding from 34 all the way down to 14 or 16 right it's a 20 point drop instant right and price is going to rotate it's a good support yellow line right so you have to take a profit either ahead of it or right at it right so anyway if you hold it and you can hold it with the stop also see and then you can you have to go through this pain but why bother you know when it comes again second time if nothing is improved you can sort again you know so so that's another statement right so See, throughout the day, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 11 o'clock, right? I am helping here. Then at 1 o'clock, 1.10, right? I put the final statement. Remember this, do not be greedy and hold till exact target. Nearby is fine too, right? So 109, 109 is this, around this time, right? Since 13 was supposed to come right here, it bounced. Right? and it bounced a little bit different way you know so between 11.55 to 12.35 so here uh, here you know it did more chop see here the size of the chop not a lot the timing here it did more right see now and then you can see it, it tried to break below this 470 multiple times right but it failed 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 see up to this point that was not the case you know like not to the exact you know around level but here somehow they love that 458 area somehow but it was a random area it was not my level so i knew it is going to eventually break down you know that is what i put it in discord at that time see here if you want to hold it then keep your stop at 40 and 520 so they got never violated you know and hold it down till 3 pm right without worrying about any target right or you take a profit don't be greedy we also talked about no more than 15 point pullback in ESA. this was a strategy yesterday i used it you know i gave them early in the morning that i do not want to see es pulling more more than 10 to 15 point in rth to the upside in nq 40 points as long as it is doing that keep shorting keep shorting see if answer is no then those will be the entry point for short right so any 10 point pullbacks 15 point pullbacks in es short 
here short 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 right and you same thing uh, sure the, in the late noon it may pull back a little bit more which is this late noon see that pull back more than 15 points right but most likely sellers will sold that too see sold it okay so it's exactly I was reading the day and it was happening right so but those are the trades so I'm just giving you a general walkthrough today of how I am reading the price okay now tomorrow you know tomorrow is OPEX Friday anything can happen even though there is a strong sell-off right and I'm sure price will take this area in the overnight and in queue this area probably right but the key is can it hold it below or bounce up because now Dow, Russell they are all into a support you know so actually this is like 16th morning right Friday morning so I looked at overnight and they are all into support or close to support about to get to support or in the support so today we are going into the day on 16th you know I'm just giving you today is what 15th I'm recording the video for 15th right but since I watched the overnight price section of 16th I'm saying going into 16th stay neutral okay and that be all for today